Hi, welcome to the channel Jessica Maxine, where I also go by the name Cadence. It's confusing and lovely. And here with me I have my family, and they do not know what we're filming, though they've been asking me all day. What is it? What do I need to wear? I'm like, calm down. I just, I want the genuine kind of reaction of what the video is going to be. Last night, uh, you'll probably forget, but something clicked. Something inspired me that transpired last night, and if you watched the vlog from yesterday, you might know what I'm talking about. That made mention of me being lucky in love, and I thought, well that's wrong. But anyways, maybe with their help I will be lucky in love, and I'm letting my family take over my dating apps. Alright! Is yeah. it? Is this? <laughs> I should introduce the panel who will be ruining or making my life wonderful. We shall see. So this is my mom, Brenda. That's Miranda, the dog. This is my Aunt Sheila. She lives right next door, so we've been quarantining together, so don't worry about all that. This is my cousin Elena, so I'm Sheila's daughter. My daughter. daughter. Yes, your daughter. And I'm Jessica Maxine, and I go by Cadence because we like to confuse everyone. Okay, great. So, let's get started. I'm gonna ask what they bring to the table. There's a table right here. What do they bring to the table? Why should I trust my love life in your hands? Brenda. Well, because I have your best interest at heart. <laughs> yes, and also, she's a psychologist. If oh, anyone... <laughs> If anyone should know people and connections and romance, it should be her. Also, why else should we trust you? I've been married 47 years to the same fella who is a big flirt. I'm not, but he is. Uh, and uh, I'm a good listener. And you have some of my listening skills. Okay, great. Some. <laughs> that brings us to you. Aunt Sheila, what do you bring to the table? Well, I bring to the table chocolate in case anybody didn't bring any. But besides chocolate, what I also bring is this. I got the words thing down. I'm a word kind of person. So I can make those words that are coming from him be anything you want to believe they are, or I can make the words that are coming from you uh -huh. sound beautiful. Okay, great. And Elena, what do you bring to the table? Well, I am kind of in the same age group in a little bit, and so I kind of know what what kind of things you like, and I know I can the same trust her with interests. the current yeah current events, and she's gonna make sure these two old boomers don't make me <laughs> unpopular. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What? What Gen Y? X. Yes, I'm a Gen Xer. Gen Xer. Yes. Barely. Yes, I'm a Gen Xer. You're old, let's just barely. 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 This will probably be a multi-part series because it's going to take forever. Okay, so we're going to pick pick an app and I will tell you all a little bit about the pros and cons of each app and I will tell you whether or not I have a current profile which you can then edit or if we're going to need to start from scratch and do a whole thing. And. Uh, I will start with uh, an option that I, I really don't want to do. Um, I'm gonna throw it out there and say eHarmony. <laughs> eHarmony. See, I like that because it has harmony in the title and you're a music kind of girl. Also, you have to pay. Oh, so I don't wanna, I don't really wanna pay. Pay to find For love. this pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Unless you wanna pay for it, I guess. That could <laughs> be an option, you guys. Well, so that's was the bottom line. I need a little more info on how much is it. I think it's something like, well, I'll put the price on the screen here. But my, if I'm remembering correctly, it's something like, I can't be that expensive. I think it's like $19.99 a month. Oh, um, Hopefully it's not that. What but price love? What Just price asking. Is, what price what love? What price love? What price, what price love? is love? What price? What is the <laughs> Yeah, exactly, but why are you saying what price love? That's not English. <laughs> that is English. That's actually poetic. Stupid. Poetic English, yes. That's just stupid. Thought she was a little bit more well. What price love? 
this. Okay, excuse me. Okay, moving on. Okay, so that's an option. eHarmony, bigoted, costs money, and yet they don't seem to be outlawing it right away. Okay, Mash.com. Oh. Similar, I've been on there before. It's a similar vibe. If you want some of the normal things that come with a dating app, you have to pay a monthly fee. I think it's a little less. And from what I know of Mesh.com, they don't have some bigoted old white man running the company. From what I know. I, but I, who knows? Your thoughts on Mash.com? Well, I happen to know some people that have met on Mash.com and have gotten married. Yes. How old were they? Of uh, are they? One was, what, you think maybe 40? 40, yeah, probably maybe. 40 when they got together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep that And they've been married for a while now, so. Okay. Yeah. I think there could be some more, like, better options, so let's keep going. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, Cupid. Mm. Okay, what? <laughs> do you know OkCupid? I do not know the first thing about OkCupid. Me neither. It's like a typical dating website. They maybe have an app now. I've been on there, had no success in the past, but you know, with your help, who knows? Is it another one that charges? I don't think they charge. I think uh, it's for free. I think, I think all of these dating apps and websites have an option where you can pay, but with things like eHarmony and Match.com, to get kind of the basic stuff you need to pay. Mm -hmm. um, but um, there's there's always an option of like, oh, you can like this person and they won't see that you've liked whatever if you pay for this and if you, you know, like, mm -hmm. yeah. stuff like that. Add-ons, add add-ons, yeah. Mm -hmm. Besides, okay, keep it, there's also plenty of fish. <laughs> plenty of fish. I've never heard of that one. <laughs> I've heard of that one, but it's a long, long time ago is when I heard of it. I mean, I think it's still a thing. That sounds like Robert Irwin would be on there. Hmm. Yeah. So. Pl okay, plenty of fish. That's the thing. Those are some solid options. Now I think we're moving into the category that actually might be viable, that I actually might do, you know, even if you weren't here, or that I have done, or that I currently have a profile on. One of the things that a lot of people like and I hate is Bumble. Oh, yeah. What is Bumble? Bumble, it's similar to Tinder, Tinder. and all these things, but... Uh, so you have to match each other, you have to both like each other, and then the woman messages first. So the, um, so you don't get all those creeps going into your inbox or whatever, because in order to talk to the person, the woman has to initiate. But every single person that I've ever matched with on Bumble that I have messaged, whether it be, hi, how's it going, or something totally random and have to do with their profile, or even hi, I never get a response. Never. So I am kind of anti-Bumble because I think it doesn't work very well. That one's also free, correct? That's free. Tinder is another option that I I have an inactive profile on because I basically stopped online dating altogether for a while. So, But I do have a profile that you would be able to edit. Um, if, you know, and it's it's but. also free. Right? It's also free. Tinder is the classic swipe right. Yeah. A lot of kind of hookup culture there, but also a lot of people have met their boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever on there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hinge. <sighs> Hinge is a dating app oh, yeah. um, that I'm currently still on, and I have a profile up. up. Uh, and it's supposed to be more like relationship based, and like we want you to meet your person, so you delete our app is like their marketing. Um, it's also free. And a lot of these, you know, they, they bring you people who are like friends of friends of your Facebook or whatever. So there's supposed to be like a link somewhere so it's not total strangers. Um, and they have like little prompts for you to, to answer questions. So like instead of your profile being something you write, you can choose between all these questions that you will answer to put on your profile. Um, again, I haven't had a ton of luck on there, but also, you know, I've met a couple of people on, from there. Has it ended in a relationship? <laughs> so, um, anyway, so that's an option. Uh, and then another option, Facebook dating <laughs> is a thing. And I've met some people from there, so that's an option. Uh, it's linked to your Facebook and it 
again does like friends of friends and I don't know a ton but like you know you can pick between your Facebook photos which ones you want to use and you know the whole about me section yeah you know very typical I'll let you deliberate and we'll be back with an answer of which app we're going to start with dun dun da